Hello and welcome back to some more Let's Play Lotro with me, Balfellian. So today we are starting the Shire, uh, which is the last of the uh, starter regions which I haven't done yet. And um, it's the last region we haven't done from the original game in Shadows of Angmar. Uh, and I've decided I'm going to try and uh, level up my brand new Brawler. So this is a, a new class that was added uh, with the Fate of Gundabad expansion. Um, and I've never played it yet, so this is my, my first uh, step on this character. And uh, hello Lost Shire Hobbit, uh, in there nice and quick as usual. Um, so I've never played this before, I don't know much about it. Um, I know obviously that they, they fight barehanded. Uh, I think they have a knuckle duster that they can use. Um, so it should be interesting. Uh, I get to play it through from level 1 onwards, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I've kind of got a little bit of a headcanon for this character that I come up with while I was uh, rolling it. So I did all the character creation before we started because I didn't know how long it's going to take to actually name my character. Um, but it was probably actually the easiest I've had uh, naming a character for once. Um, rather than going with the usual kind of flowers and gemstones that Hobbit names usually tend to be for, for Hobbit females. Um, I just kind of like uh, used the Halfling Generator, came up with something. Uh, hi John Bestian, uh, how are you? Um, so yeah, I've just come up with a name, uh, managed to get one with five characters as well, which is not too bad. So uh, this is Silri, who doesn't have a hairstyle like that, but for some reason the um, uh, the kind of weird like helmet tiara thing that, that brawlers get has kind of uh, reset it to a, a standardised kind of hairstyle. Um, yeah, let's get the show on the road then. So I'm skipping the, the brand new user uh, uh, tutorial at the start. Um, but we are going to be put into the uh, the starter instance uh, for Archer. Uh, Lost Shire Hobbit can always rely on you to be there quick. Yeah, I can indeed. There we go. So ding, 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 ding. Uh, I'm going to get all the crap in my bags from all the various things I've pre-ordered and stuff. Yes, pop-ups, pop-ups. So we get this funky outfit like we saw on the character creation screen, the default armor, which is not too bad actually. Um, Kind of a weird little cloak, like a half cloak. Very short and stubby. Um, but I think if I take off that weird little tiara, oh, we're going to have all this. Uh, is it slash UI layout load rear? There we go, sort of. Uh, but my other bags are a bit ski with. Um, so edit the bags. And if I move two slots up there, one slot over there, another one there, another one there, uh, two more in there, one there, one up the top. There we go. Uh, so that'll be my new bag appearance. Uh, take off the helmet. Actually, I need to come out of edit mode for this. Uh, take off the helmet a minute. There we go. So that's my character's normal hairstyle. Um, and I'll give them the scar because they are a brawler so they get into some scraps. Um, but when you, whenever you put on a helmet it's going to just turn it into a ponytail because obviously that hairstyle is not going to go too well with that little tiara. Um, but in theory we could uh, obviously cosmetic and change it off but I'll probably just leave it on for now. Um, so what crap have I got in my bags then? 11 year gift box can open that. Get all the stuff out. 11's is a moat. Uh, what we've got up here? Armour of the West Fold, one year gift box, two year gift box, three, four, five. Uh, gift the Outdoors can stay in a box, Rohirrim Elite can stay in a box. Brawler Battle Gauntlet. So this is something I think I got with the uh, the medium tier of Gundabad, uh, which is the one that I went for in the end after deciding what I wanted to do. Um, so it contains various things. A new pair of battle gauntlets every 10 levels. Okay, so rather than being a scaling item then, it just gives you a new one. So it's a, a box that gets opened every 10 levels. Um, and bound to character, so that's fine. But we don't get that until level 10. Um, we get a ring to start with. Uh, we've got a cloak, which is better than the one that I've got. Um, but it looks horrible, so I might put on the little diddy cloak on a cosmetic slot. Um, where is it? Uh, back slot, back slot. There we go. Uh, just because that seems a bit, bit bit nicer with the armor we've got. Uh, Hamingus armor. Not going to open that yet. Uh, so all this stuff. 
Rohan Legendary Enhancement Runes needs the Moria bit unlocked. Um, Fielding Coins, we will use those once we're out the starting area. Harbinger's Cloak technically has more armour, but not as much of the other stuff, so we'll ignore that for now. Uh, horses can't use to be riding. Random bits of cloaks. I think those are from the Isengard expansion. Um, Horn of the Dwaradelf. Can't use the horses yet, so I'll just move them out of the way. Always a bit of a hassle when you start a new character and you've got all this crap in your bags. Uh, Isengard armor. We've got a stone to help us level faster. So that's one of the pre order bonuses. I don't know whether that was Isengard. Uh, expedition supplies need to be level 5. Swarmberg armor. Uh, Flame of Ankalamir, that's from Mordor. Gundabad delving supplies needs level 5. Fireworks, more fireworks, uh, some buffs. Uh, steel keys, random dresses. We're far too um, aggressive to be wearing dresses on this character. Uh, another steed. Let's move all this stuff to the side. Uh, what else we got? War steed cosmetics. I think we can consume these. Hopefully we can, because I'm about to open it. Uh, yeah. Consume all them. Get them out of my bags. What we got here? Eight year gift box. Nine year gift box. Ten year gift box. Uh, got fireworks. We got another cloak. Another emote. Lords, dragon fireworks. More, more fireworks. We love the fireworks in this game. Uh, shield, more fireworks. What are these ones? Armor hand, hand. Journeyman riding trait package. Probably can't use all of that though. Apprentice riding. Smell the roses skill. Um, journeyman riding. So riding characteristic requires novice. We can't use that just yet. Uh, Mordor bonus items, probably don't want to open that because that can be 50 million new boxes, 10 year frame, Minus Morgul bonus items, Fate of Gundabad bonus items, let's open that one. Uh, cosmetic armour, don't really want to open that yet, got another horse, right, I think I think we're good. Um, so, as usual with uh, hobbits uh, or men. Um, we start in Archer as our, as our little starter area. Uh, Bjornings end up over in Archer after you've done your uh, different kind of starting area over in uh, the Bowers of the Anduin. Um, Thank goodness you're awake. That fellow on deer seems very ill. So it's been a while since we've done this, but I kind of know this on autopilot anyway. But uh, you are awake, Silri. Thank goodness. You were exhausted after what happened last night, but that ranger got us all safe to watch it in the end. I am terribly worried for his friend. Amdi looks so very ill. You can check on him if you like. He's just over there to the west of where I'm standing. Do you see him there? And we get a load of stuff. Um, Do not trouble yourself on my account. I'm going to get all the pop ups. It is only a chill. Um, I'll tell you what, let's not voice over all this stuff. Let's just get through the... There are uh, too many deeds to be done. As possible. All pressing and none of them easy. Since we've done this 50 million times. Uh, so, as a brawler, I am a heavy armor class. Perhaps you can help, my friend. Captain Brackenbrook will not heed my warnings. So, I do know that much. Because like um, we're going to be in the thick of the action bit. one way or another. Um, and I'm not too certain about how the trait lines work. Because I've seen how some of the trait... Um, why points are you in the class uh, skill quest get used. Um, but so far as I can tell, I think we have the Fulcrum and the Maelstrom as two of the trait lines, and then maybe the third one's called Balance? Uh, if I was a guessing man. Um, I think the Fulcrum's more of a tanky one and the Maelstrom's more of a DPS-y one. But uh, we'll see when we unlock it. How can I be of service? So grab all these quests, talk to all these people. Uh we kind of like get to the bottom of what and and it was attacked by it. what can i do for you there we go we believe we're safe from danger that's uh famous last words we're not spoilers there alas for peaceful folk everywhere it is an enormous task to convince them that evil people with evil intentions will commit evil deeds right. so let's have a look before at you try to fight you must learn what skills you may from the trainer 
So let's see what skills we've actually got then. Um, Gundabad Urcrash. I have no idea what that is, but it's a pet that I get. It's a crab. We've got crabs. Um, okay, that's a new mod type. Uh, let's desummon the crab. Uh, anniversary Celebration Pig, so that's another um, random animal that I get to follow me. Oh, Jesus Christ, it sets off fireworks. Um, okay, let's uh, get rid of you. So, our basic skills we've got a low strike, a dexterous hook. And something else. Overhand smash. Oops. And we have a new class mechanic as well, which is this. Uh, Broader's joy of battle derives them uh, drives them to seemingly pre preternatural strength as they fight. Out of combat, metal slowly reset to a base value of three. Okay. So it's kind of be like a champion skill, I guess. So adds one to metal. That's one to metal, costs three metal. Okay. Um, what's the cooldowns on these? Two second, two second. Uh, low setup. If low strike is the most recent setup attack used, the next damaging metal spender may render its target vulnerable. Vulnerable targets take additional damage from all sources. Okay. Um, so if we low strike, then spend metal, um, we make them vulnerable. Take additional damage, okay. Uh, dexterous hook. Uh, so it's a different setup. So if a dexterous hook is the most recent setup, the next metal spender will deal 35% more damage. Um, so it makes the next one attack do bonus damage rather than a variety of attacks. Um, but it only lasts two seconds. Okay, so we just smash the things then. So we see this is building up again. These little diamonds. And let's get out of the way. So it's building up little diamonds in there. Which you can build it up. It will say three, six, and nine then. So yeah, the first three are yellow, the next three are orange, the next three are red. And now we're really angry apparently because we've got an icon around us. So I can smush. Disengage. What is that? I'm trying to go teach us then. Uh, Stay a moment. Uh, I'm ready to help you learn how to become a more powerful brawler. As you gain levels, more skills will be available for you to unleash upon your foes. Use your new skill overhand smash against a training dummy. Um, brawlers rely on metal to activate some of their skills, such as overhand smash. Use your low strike or dexterous hook to build free metal, then strike the training dummy with your overhand smash. Which is what we were doing anyway, so. Um, because we're still in combo, I've actually still got quite a lot of metal. Uh, why did that not hit him? Am I too far? Oh, that one did. Uh, there we go. The, uh, the gold spammers are wishing everyone a happy new year as well. There we go. Two. Uh, Uh, John Capture, what's up chat and Balfellin? Hope you are well and happy new year to you all. Uh, happy new year, everyone who's watching. Or everyone who will be watching uh, once I edit these into some bots. Um, so yeah, first first uh, recorded uh, bit of Let's Play Lottery in the new year. Um, the rest of the Arid Lewin ones I am releasing videos over time. So those will probably come out in the first half of January. Uh, and then uh, these Shire streams will follow. Right, so we've done all three. So, How can I be of service? So finish that. He's giving me a warm battle gauntlet and being level Greetings. Two. So you're not going to have anything for me to pick up from the trainer. That's fine. Most things are generally given to us as we auto level these days. Um, Lost Shire Hobbit. Happy New Year indeed. Will be interesting to see the brawler class. Yep. It's not something that interested me um, when I heard them announce it and they were kind of saying it's going to be like unarmed and stuff. But you know, I'll give it a go, see how I like it. Um, Do you feel confident in what you have learned? There we go, so yes, we've learned some of our skills. Oh dear, my poor old friend. A shadow has crept over him. So, Brackenbrook I don't like sends the look us of outside of town. One bit. To kind of investigate what's going on. So we've got to speak to his mate called a cop, who's just outside of town. 
uh, and we need to gather some king's foil uh, to help treat Amdir's wounds. So cool the cobbies over here. I don't know how many times I must have done this on uh, on the Let's Play series with the amount of hobbits and uh, race of man characters I've got. I've got a bit wide there. So grab your quests. I think you get us to kill some boar, don't you? Well, well. If it isn't the rumor monger. That's the wolves. Okay, there's one. Punch the wolf. I think Petter might have something to say about this. Uh, punching a wolf to death. I mean, it's not exactly more humane than stabbing it to death with sharp implements or bludgeoning it to death, but uh, it's a bit more personal. That's two. I'll ignore that one just because we want to go a bit closer to the ruins. Uh, and we'll see if I can actually remember the deed locations as well, because I know one of them is going to be the ruins itself. Punch, punch, punch. Um, Calder Cobb, love taking him down still, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, one of the game's first assholes. Um, at least for those of you that start an archer. Right, one king's foil. That's one of the good things as well where they've done the broader class. And I imagine this is going to apply for most skills, is that they should have brand new animations and effects. Because they can't just reuse like a sword swing or something. Um, so like when we do the overhand smash we kind of get the, uh, the fists kind of smashing down on the ground, Hulk style. So that's nice. But I have to see what, what other effects and stuff we get from uh, our own skills that we get as we level up. But as with most classes, we generally only started with maybe three skills early on. Ding, level three. Um, so you do have a bit of limitations in how many skills you can press in your rotation. So me as a brawler, I can basically spam one and two until I can press three. And then when I press three, things usually die. Um, so, there we go. Uh, we have to search on top for the wolf keeper. Punch, punch. Don't get any credit for actually defeating these guys, but they will give me some XP at least. Uh, John Bastion, you're like Bullroar Took now. Um, was Bullroar Took a melee guy? Um, he was the guy that did the um, invented the game of golf by um, whacking some uh, goblin heads and it disappeared down a rabbit hole. So I presume he's, he's strong in uh, the fact that he can whack a, a golf ball essentially quite hard. Um, I might be wrong. I think it, the class is officially based on Helm Hammer Handler. Uh, for my lim limited knowledge of it. There we go, punched him to death. Uh, there we go. So back to Calder Cobb, ask him why he set us up to be ambushed. Because he's not a nice guy, is the answer. Uh, annoyingly, can't mount up in the uh, intro instances because we can't unlock the riding skill until we're outside. Uh, breaking my legs to add insult to injury. Um, yeah, I, I have no idea what other skills we're going to get as we unlocked, um, as I say. But the brawler class is completely brand new to me. I've kind of come into this completely blind, not knowing what to expect. Um, but yeah, I don't mind melee classes. As I say, I, I play uh, burglar as a main, so um, I'm quite used to playing in melee. Impossible! Oh, no, you're like still you alive. Defeated the wolf master. Um, yeah, so I can tell on everyone now that you've been a very naughty boy. So back into Strider. Um, yeah, I don't mind melee or ranged in Lottery. Both kind of have their uh, advantages and disadvantages. It's not like in, in some games where, um, for balancing reasons, either ranged might do less damage or has some other drawbacks to counteract the fact that you're generally pretty safe at range versus being in melee and in the thick of things. Calder Cobb is a um, traitor. Danger has found you earlier than I predicted. 
I cannot decide which is more dangerous right now. Calder Cobb's treachery or the ignorance of Captain Brackenbrook. So let's go interrogate one of the brigands. Oi! You there! Let me go! Calder Cobb can vouch for me! Yeah. What can I do for you? He called a cop from Kamfarchi, but he's a naughty boy, so we don't like him. How can you either. say this? Called a cop has been loyal Ding. to me since and he was a, got a boy. New skill. I suppose it would be wise to investigate your claim. Oh dear, look so changed right. since last night. So, me. Hey, you there! Bilbreeze, I'm hungry. Boar meat, and talk to Cow Sprigley, who I believe is at the hunting lodge. No, he's down south at Sprigley's farm. Um, right. So out and about. The bilberries are just over here, aren't they? I think they're kind of in the direction of the lake. Punch. Alright, so what's our new skill then? Sinister Cross. A strong punch that generates metal. So it's a generation, not a using skill. So let's put it on our number three then. Um, and it does another setup attack. So if a Sinister Cross is the most recent setup attack used, the next Metal Spender will tear up any available innate strength buffs twice instead of once. Okay, I have no idea what an innate strength buff is. Um, uh, if no innate strength buffs have been unlocked via trait set bonuses, this has no effect. Okay, so that's not much use at the minute. I need to treat into that one. Uh, Lost Shire Hobbit. Mundo still has his priorities, uh, his stomach on his mind, I see. Yep. Hobbits are always thinking about their stomach and what is their next meal. Um, does this one have a new attack effect? Uh, doesn't seem to do anything special. Just a generic punch. Um, uh -oh. Slap, slap, slap. I'll probably end up figuring out a, a decent rotation for these at some point once we've got a few more skills. So it seems my number one skill can be used after my number three skill fairly quickly without any um, delays in the animation. Uh, that's the second Bilberry. So is this a fast skill? It is a fast skill. But Dexterous Hook is also fast and Sinister Cross is also fast. Um, don't, we don't need the ball, but I'll punch it anyway because it's there. Uh, bonk. Am I right in thinking that they put back in the boar that used to live in here? Old Blood Tusk or whatever his name was. Because he got removed at some point. I don't know whether it was the Isengard expansion. And then everyone was kind of upset that he got removed. And I'm sure they put him back in at some point. And it made a lot of people happy. But he's somewhere. No, he's down over here, isn't he? Uh, there he is, old blood tusks. He's back, um, but he's pretty tough. We'll go fight him anyway. Why not? Be fine. You shouldn't hit that hard, surely. Yeah, <laughs> Ben hits at all. Right, where are you? For good old time's sake. Let's make him again. There we go. Um, right, so off to Sprigley's farm then. Uh, ready to hand those two back in in town. Uh, I think Sprigley just asked me to scout the southern road if I remember correctly. Let me find that the brigands have kind of uh, blockaded it to stop people leaving or entering the town, which makes a bit less sense now given that they kind of um, edited the terrain so you can actually walk outside the valley a stranger, eh? in different directions. You're the best thing that's happened to us all day. Our best hope is to get help from Combe, our neighbours. They will not let our chat fall to brigands. Stay a moment. 
I don't know if it's the same in the instanced uh, areas, but now you can kind of walk over the hills over there to the northwest and kind of get out to the tag fields and go into the festival fields. Um, but obviously, they're still going to limit you. They might be using uh, one of those impassable red walls. Uh, Hobbits don't wear shoes. You did the same with Tristana. I know. I'm a naughty boy. Um, I do normally hide my shoes. Um, I have to uh, put some of my stuff on my cosmetic. There we go. Until let's bugger off. You're not going through. So we'll talk to him. Right, so let's take off some of these bits of armor for a second. Uh, don't about, about the cloak. And then let's set up a cosmetic outfit using our starting gear. Um, I don't care about the headband. So let's put that in there. Chest, legs, uh, not the boots, not the boots. Um, and then we're still using that one, so now it should look good. Oh, we can put those back on now. So this cannot be. Uh, I must write no, to Brackenbrook at once. Still showing through. So I need to hide my shoes. There we go. All right, you happy now? I'm, I'm now not wearing shoes. Um, but technically, some hobbits do wear shoes. Um, but they're considered a little bit weird. Um, you're going to put me on the spot. I can't remember which particular... Uh, group of hobbits it is but one of them are no, known for wearing shoes and I think uh, more widely as well sometimes hobbits can be known to wear shoes under very specific circumstances um, like if they're going on uh, long travels or in uh, particularly dodgy terrain that they might not want to step on uh, a bit like Sean Astin who played Sam uh, when they were filming uh, the Path Galen bit, where at the end of the Fellowship of the Ring, where they've got the, the canoes uh, uh, near Amonhem, and he was wading out into the uh, the water uh, to try and catch Frodo as Frodo was kind of rowing away, and he stepped on some glass. If you haven't heard that story from the uh, the commentaries on the the uh, DVDs, um, so he had a, a bit of glass go right through his feet. He just kind of like stopped dead and was like, "Ouch." Um, so <laughs> that would have been a good time to wear shoes although to be fair the bit of glass probably would have gone through his shoes as well um, but might have helped a bit lovely this is sure to cheer on dear right up this tea will help on dear feel better i just know it so this will do nicely it gives me something to munch on for a bit at Thing least again level five no new skill though what have i done How you cannot in? fathom just how wrong I have been. Uh, Do not despair. Candy. You have done well. I thank you, but I have not the stomach to drink this now. Right, so Did we need to search for three people. I knew it would. So they're all dead bodies down south. So this one, I think, is near Old Blood Tusk. That one's a bit further west. That one's inside the camp, or just outside the camp. Um, we need to ask the Exile Hunter to come to Archit's aid. So he's at the hunting lodge. I think he'll give us a quest as well to kill some of those marsh flies or whatever they are. Um, Lost Shire Hobbit, happy lol. Yep, the stores, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so that's right. Yeah, because you get the store boots in uh, Enidwaif, don't you? That you can find. Uh, I think you find them out in the wild as evidence of hobbits uh, having existed there at some point, but as well, one of the deeds. Um, Maybe once the, it's one of the deeds for searching for signs of hobbits. Um, you get rewarded with some some store boots, which you can then put inside um, your houses and stuff. Uh, it doesn't look particularly fancy. It literally just looks like a pair of boots. But if you wanted to like put some boots out on your front porch or something, uh, just to make it look like you took your shoes off as you've come home, then uh, it can be useful in that that regard okay so hunting lodge so if 
remember correctly, he sends us to, to kill some marsh flies and prove that we're. I presume you're here to bring me ill news powerful. from town. Calder Carbashan is true um, colours at last. Oh no, he sends us straight down in to look for brigands. Okay. Um, I'm sure something at some point uh, gets us to kill marsh flies. And the marsh fly queen is around here somewhere. I can't remember if she's part of the quest or not. Maybe the marsh fly quest comes after the brigands. Uh, ignore you for now. You are yellow, so you are passive unless I aggravate you. Uh, right, I'm going to have to swim the rest of the way, I think. So, the ruins down here, uh, Blackwell's Roost, is going to be another area we need to tick off on our little exploration deed. So, if we just wander over and run in the front door, we'll be able to tick that off. Uh, and one of the bodies is down the back end as well. And we also need to get the, what is it, the altar? Down at the south entrance. I can't remember if you can do that inside this starting area or not, though. That's part of the wider Bree landing. Okay, punchy, punchy, punch, and Hulk smash. There we go. Doesn't need to be a specific type of brigand, we can just murder anyone. You're a ranged one, because I remember you. Okay, Hulk smash. So probably I need to, to get used to memorising what the last skill is before I do a Hulk smash. But we know that num number three won't have any bonus effects until I'm traded, so... Uh, don't need a wolf. So if I haven't punched it yet, leave him alone. Oh, lag. Okay. So we're inside Blackboard's Roost. We need the plans. Which are there. Grab that. Still need to kill one more. Uh, have I angered something? There we go. You're the leader. Punch you a few times. Half health. Half smash. Doesn't seem to do a lot of damage. So, I want to go to the south. There's a dead body over there. Um... Hmm. Maybe I have to be outside the instance area then, because there's normally an altar or something over here. Maybe it's meant to be on there. I have to check when we get out of the starting area. Although it's going to send me to the Shire though, so it would be harder to come and get back and get that. Uh, Walt Wheatley has been murdered by Blackwolds. Uh, who'd have thunk it? I mean, they could have uh, hid the evidence. Um, where are we going? So, second one is over here. Blood Tusk is actually an aggressive mob. One of the few, possibly the only aggressive mob, uh, apart from the brigands, in uh, the starting area. Um, there we go, Bill Haysbeer. He's dead, Jim, indeed. Uh, he's worse than dead. His brain is gone. Classic. Third season of uh, uh, the original Star Trek really went off the rails. Right, spank him, there we go. Right, so back to report the tragic news. And let him know that all his farm hands are now dead. Uh, so he's going to have to do all the work himself. Although, what this guy actually does, I don't know, because he doesn't actually farm anything. He's got a couple of animals and a basement full of spiders. But that's about it. Well, I suppose he's got a bit of farming fields there, but he doesn't plant anything. What do you need? Um, so, obviously, we get loads of weapon rewards, but as a brawler, we don't use any of them. Um, so, all of these are completely useless. Um, so, bring the back blackboard plans back back to the hunting lodge run all the way back uh, where are we? two thirds of the way through level 5 annoyingly I can't view the uh, the trait trees actually until, until we're outside I 
otherwise we might be able to have a bit of a look at them and understand kind of where we might end up going uh, and what they actually are but as I say I think there's this fulcrum balance and maelstrom um, one of the other things I noticed while I was having a look at the the wiki as well is that normally where the class deeds limit you to a certain amount of skills you can use per day to work on your class skill deeds um, unless they've changed it since the brawler was introduced there's actually no daily cap so you could in theory do all of the um, requirements in one day for each deed um, I don't know if that's intentional I'm guessing probably not but they don't seem to have fixed it in a hurry because the brawler's been out a while now so maybe it is intentional um, but we'll see whenever we uh, get out the opening area and we actually go in the main world whether we can actually do any of those deeds. Um, I can't remember what any of them are um, but a lot of them as well do tend to have quite low numbers like use it a hundred times or 125 times and if they're just simple low cooldown skills like what we've got there um, it should be pretty quick and easy to tick them off so um, it's not going to be like certain classes where you need to use a certain skill 2,000 times or something ridiculous um, because that can get a bit tedious particularly for classes that need to do um, good work my friend I believe there is hope for us yet members. we only need a strategy so uh, uh, oh did I miss one uh, okay um I don't remember this one. Uh, okay. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's this one, the one we speak to Galadriel, okay. Silvery. Listen, Listen to my words. She's going to voice that over herself, apparently. I am Galadriel, the Lady of the Golden Wood. Do not be afraid, young one. Your kind is known to me, but I have beheld hobbits such as you only from afar. I will not long disturb your sleep. I can visit you in dreams for only a short time. I have looked into my mirror and seen much that worries me. Let me show you. previews of all the various stages of the game and the various threats we face the original end game bosses in Angmar I have seen lighted windows in the evil city of Khandum the dread land of Angmar stirs shadows once stretched forth from Angmar to threaten Middle Earth Got good old mortar if that. I fear they will again. So Kandum and Angmar was kind of like the original end game uh, region back at launch. And we've got the Bridge of Khazadum from Moria and the Moria expansion. Um, where spoilers, we see the fellowship here. Uh, my mirror shows me much else I do not understand. Uh, presumably you know who Aragorn is, and probably Boromir, maybe? You should definitely know Legolas. And she'll know who Gandalf is. And she should know what a Balrog is, so she should... <laughs> it should disturb her if she sees all this. Change that model for that Balrog. What did he always look like that in this uh, flashback? Some of this may come to pass, or none of it. That is the nature of my mirror's power. Off to Rohan. 
one. Now all of Middle Earth is endangered by something to do with Sauron. Heared in worm tongue and Erwin. We need strength, wisdom and courage if we are to oppose him. So if any of you guys watching have not been to Rohan yet, it is pretty cool. Apart from the war steeds. Um, but the architecture and the, the design of all the, uh, like the houses and the towns out there is very nice. You are near to wake for us. The last tendrils of sleep will soon release you. You ask why I wanted to show you this? It is for one reason. I saw you in my mirror. Not once or twice, but often. Whether you desire it or not, your fate is tied to that of Middle Earth. Do not forget my words when you awaken. The free peoples of Middle Earth will have need of you. You must not fail them. So odds are, unless you're an elf and you're randomly dreaming of Gladriel, you're not going to know who the hell she is or whether this was a real dream or not. Um, well, there we go. We've woken up after our nap. I finished that. And we need to talk to Atlee Spiderbane next. But I think the guy outside will give me the quest to kill. Um, well, actually, he's here. Greetings, traveller! Oh, maybe you, you only move inside the town then afterwards. Uh, spiders on the old path. Again, no one still gave me the, the quest. I'm not imagining it. I'm sure there's a Marshfly quest. And I'm sure it is part of the intro. It's not part of Archer later on. Um, Alright, so head up and over here. Ignore you. Actually, you're passive. I can run straight past you. So into the spider infested hellhole that is over here. And we need to kill four spiders and make it all the way to the end and just double check that the town wall is intact. There we go, that's one. Might just punch a few of you and grab you up. Just to be lazy. Uh, well you're gonna aggro anyway. Uh, is this an AoE? It's not, is it? That's a shame. You'd think Hulk, Hulk Smash should be an AoE. Not any damage, that did crit. It does do alright damage, but it's not feel particularly powerful like it maybe should do. This is the last one we need. There we go. Right, so let's run all the way down the back. I think most of these are passive, except maybe the ambushers. Like that one. Oh, he's actually passive as well, he just appears out of the ground. So, search the scout. Uh, the brigand scout met his doom at the dead end on the old east path, so he tried to get into town, but he couldn't because the wall was there. Um, not that it would stop the spiders, because I mean, that wall's maybe six feet tall. These spiders are probably at least two, if not three feet long, wide, whatever. Um, and you would not tolerate these spiders to live uh, near your town. Let's be honest. Even if you you weren't afraid of spiders, you would not want spiders this big living anywhere near you. It's not good, really, is it? Uh, so. Back to John Brackenbook. And see if we finally get our marsh fly quest. Uh, but after this, it's definitely going to be back to town, and I think we're pretty much done with the intro area then.
A dead end will surely work in our favor. A couple of dies. There we go. Okay, okay. Accept. Uh, so we get the quest. I just want to double check that there's nothing outside now. Before we do this. Um, no. I can't be going mad, surely. There's, I'm sure there's a martial eye quest. Maybe it's outside the intro area, but still in Archer afterwards. Um, all right, travel now. We've got a ding, and we've got a new skill, actually. John Brackenbrook and his hunters have reached the outskirts of Archit to find it already ablaze. A desperate struggle to save their village is about to begin. Hopefully, you have arrived in time. There we go. So they've spotted us. We must move now. Come on. We have no time to lose. We must help my father. Okay. Uh, right, so what? Uh, what's this new skill? Hell object. We must save Ned. Uh, so it's a range skill, 25 meters. Uh, handle objects are your foe. Does maybe reasonable damage compared to my other skills? Actually, it's, it's probably my most uh, damaging attack, actually. Except for my overhand smash. Um, but we can use this as like a ranged pull attack, so we can just kind of fling something at, at someone aggravate them, let them run into melee, and then we can smack them with our normal skills. Um, particularly like if they're upstairs on a balcony or on top of a cliff or something, we can just pull them about them to run all the way up. Um, so every melee class generally has some sort of ranged uh, pull attack, like burglars can throw daggers, um, like captains and minstrels can just like shout or, or whatever. Um, uh, but it reduces their run speed as well, so it's not only a ranged pull, it makes them run slower, which kind of is a bit counterintuitive because you want them to be in melee so you can finish them off. But it's got eight, dura eight second duration on the run speed debuff on a six second cooldown, so you can keep something permanently uh, debuffed with run speed, which is interesting. Um, so, carry on. Uh, yep, your husband's dead, sorry. Uh, we need to talk to John Brackenbrook first. Our chat must still be saved. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's another reason why you, your first name shouldn't be Ned. Um, if you uh, know your fantasy stuff. There are more up ahead! People called Ned tend to die early in the story. So, spank all these guys. Don't throw a mug in his face. Bonk. There we go, the fight went well. We must find yet my father come. before it's too late. So, around to the crafting area. I'll take it off the screen now. That's good old Atlas Look, Hartley is ahead! All must not be lost! Well met, friend. Is the crafting hall safe? Yeah, Atlee Spider's Brain shows up in some of the uh, the more recent content. I don't know about uh, Free Peaks and Gundaba, but I'm sure he showed up um, either in the Iron Fold or somewhere over there, mountains uh, around Erebor and such. Up in the Withered Heath. Although the Mad Badger burns, I still hold out hope. Okay. So yes, yeah, your pub's burnt down. Sorry about that. Father, I knew you would survive. But yeah, hang on, hold your faults. He's not going to survive. I'm alive, son, but I grow weary from the fight. Does Archid fall now? So it's suddenly getting really dark and gloomy. They approach. Defend us! So they can walk through flames, but we can't. We don't even do mark a little uh, jump animation. It'll be a nice touch. There we go. A couple more. 
Let's bank them. Uh, the enemy boss is going to arrive. Okay, job done. There is no more time for games. We come for the ranger. What have you done, Quarter Cop? What have you become? A traitor. You have always been blind where I am concerned, Captain, but perhaps you begin to understand me. All I know is that you betrayed your home and your peoples. You should be ashamed. Enough talk. Amda is now a servant of Mordor. Come, Dunadan. Yes, master. He's now been enthralled by the cargoes. What is happening? Actually, here's a good point. Where did um, Aragorn go? Because he was here with Amdir a little while ago. Father! No! I don't know if they, he gave an explanation that he was going off somewhere or not. Maybe he did. There we go, spank them. We've defeated Cold Cobb. Amdir has been kidnapped. What misery has befallen us? My father was right to trust no one. And we're going to travel now, and there's probably going to be a very loud cutscene, so uh, fair warning if you've got your headsets on. With the Blackwall's grip on Archit broken, the hobbits hurry home to the Shire, eager to return to their simple, peaceful lives. But not all is as peaceful as it seems. Troubles stir at the bounds, and a shadow of fear is left in the wake of the Nazgul. done we're in the shire and we arrive for the start of our journey uh, little delving over here in the west hand side um, so uh, lost shire hobbit I think the marsh Wise quest is on the legendary servers I remember doing it on tree vid yeah I don't know I'm sure it's in the intro area as well and not after the intro area so maybe it's um just to do with what phase of the game it's in if it's set to a certain expansion it's either in or out uh, John Bastian, these animals come straight from the Cretaceous. Uh, Lost Shire Hobbit, so glad you're streaming today. I have work, I have work next su Sunday and would have missed it. So, yeah, you're lucky. Um, I thought I'd just get one in uh, before I'm back to work on uh, on Tuesday. Um, make a start out on our Shire questing. I don't know how many streams it will take to get through all of it, because there's a lot going on and there's a lot of running around. So hopefully I've still got stuff to talk about when I'm constantly running, delivering pies and stuff. Um, so, uh, we Can't complete our be intro quest, alone. we get the novice skill, which just basically confirms we're out of the intro area, and then now I should be able to use a load of the items in my bags. Um, so, are any of these any good? So, I can equip these. I'm just going to make a note of these because I don't mind the, the cosmetic look of this starting gear so I'll probably stick it in my account wardrobe. Um, so we've got a helm that's better but that's part of the starting gear. Trousers are better. Um, and then the boots. And that one. So I think it's just those five. I know this one as well. Uh, did I not actually have any gloves equipped? Hmm, maybe I didn't. Whoops. Uh, so what have we got? I've got Might or Vitality. Might is probably the more useful of them, so let's get rid of the other ring. Um, uh, warm Battle Gauntlets does more DPS. So let's use that. Put them down there. Uh, cloak don't need um, so where's the riding skill seven stars riding characteristic right so I can use my horses now steed of the hammer hand uh, was that one of the Rohan expansions festive azure steed um, 
White clad steed of the gap. I think that was Isengard. Red clad steed of the gap. Steed of the Eldar. Can't remember where I got that one from. Uh, green clad steed of the gap. On oh, the cloak was that was another one. So all those are part of my brawler starting gear. We'll stick those in the account wardrobe. Steed of the Gundabad Reclaimer. This is one of the new ones. I don't actually know what this one looks like. Um, okay, I'll return home skill. Actually, it's on my bars. Uh, mounts. Steed of Gundabad Reclaimer. What's this look like? Uh, is that a skull? It is. We've got a skull and a spike. Because why not? Um, I don't know it's meant to be more of a dwarven kind of look. Was it, is it more of an orcish look? It's got like a skull on the back. Can't say I'm oppressed with the cosmetic. Not really a fan of that. Um, do I have any more steeds that I can use? Don't see any. So I'm going to make use of one of these. Maybe the steed of the Eldar is the nicest looking one. Armoured white one. I want something that's going to be befitting of being a, a bit of a fighter. The ponies of the gap are just a bit more fabric draped. Uh, Festive is your pony, I think that's another one with just a little drape on it. Yeah. A bit elvish. Steed of the Hammer Hand. Could be a bit more appropriate for us, but this is much more of a heavily armoured uh, looking steed. Uh, or we can have the goat. I know they've been adding a load more of new types of mounts, which are technically just reskinned horses or goats. Um, I think we'll go with the Steed of the Eldar. Um, and then if I put that in my Alt 1 skill, because that's my muscle memory for my summoning horse. Um, Might I have a word with you? So, uh, we're going to get our prologue quest for the Hobbit prologue for doing uh, the epic story. Um, so as with all races, there is a prologue unique to each race, but you can do it with any character. So you can go off to the various starter regions, do all the prologues on one character, uh, regardless of which region you start in and what your race is. Um, so we haven't actually done the, the Hobbit one yet, um, but it will take place all entirely in the Shire, and then we'll go off to um, the Prancing Pony, same as everywhere else after you finish the prologue for your race, uh, where you start uh, Epic Volume 1, Book 1. Um, so, uh, this is outrageous, Siri. I will not be satisfied until I receive compensation for my treatment at the hands of the Blackwolds. Um, so this is Mundo, who is with us in, in Archer. Um, I've been most ill-used, and it is more than any hobbit would stand. A Sackville Baggins should be able to travel throughout the Shire, and even into Breeland if he wishes it, without danger of being abducted. And when a Sackville Baggins is promised gold, he had better receive some gold when the whole thing is done with. It is only fair. I wrote this letter while you were off looking for John Brackenbook. It doesn't include the business with the brigands burning archer or that ranger becoming so queer, but it is sure enough for old flower dumpling. Take my letter to Mayor Will Whitfoot in Mickle Delving. It will be just outside the town hall, which will be to your left, surrounded by hedges, when you enter the town. So that's just to direct us into town. A um, couple of quests. Please, stay a moment. So we can join the Bounders. The Bounders are kind of... Uh, sort of like the Shire Police, um, but a bit more relaxed than, than proper police forces. Um, there's Tell, you're one uh, that helps those in need. Well, if, if you want to help a Shire, uh, Shire folk, you'll have to join the Bounders. Most hobbits are friendly enough, but suspicious of strangers, which is true enough. As a Bounder, they'll trust you, at least a bit anyway. If you want to join the Watch as a Bounder, you'll have to speak to Second Sheriff. He's uh, the only one you can sign up with. You'll find him in Mickle Delving near the town hall. Second Sheriff Bunce is respected by most folk, so if he says you're a right sort, they'll listen. That's good to know. Um, and then we've got from the Shire to Bree Town. Can I take a moment of your time? So this is already directing us to Bree, so if we wanted to just skip the Shire. Uh, we're only level 6, um, but in theory we could go to Bree and do the area's east side of Bree. Uh, so level six, you'd be looking at um, uh, Comb or uh, uh, what's the other one called? 
Uh, oh, I can't do more. Uh, Staddle. So yeah, Combe is where you would normally come outside of Archer. Then you'd go to Staddle, Midgewater, Marshes, and Chetwood. Uh, then into Bree, and then like 10 plus, you'd be doing the west side of Bree onwards. Um, if you wanted to go over there early because you hate the Shire, and some people do, um, I'm not a huge fan of the Shire for two reasons. We get we end up delivering loads of pies and loads of mail, so there's lots of running back and forth. Um, but it's a bit easier now the fact that I can use horses since I'm a VIP and I can use my riding skills straight away. Um, so. Might to have a word with you. Uh, feeling a bit cooped up here in the Shire, eh? I say you should go to Bree, where the men dwell. There's bound to be work for an enterprising sort like yourself. Head east along the road and you'll reach the gates of Bree before you know it. Uh, no, because it's a bloody long way on foot. Uh, stay to the road, mind you. The bounders don't stray far from the Shire. When you reach Bree Town, speak to the mayor. He's a friendly fellow and might find a use for your talents. Um, I don't know how you know him if you're pretty much staying in the Shire the whole time. So we'll take that one off because we're not doing that one right now. Um, okay. It seems we have a spam uh, bot in the chat. That should get rid of the spot. There we go. Uh, Might I speak with you a moment? Oh, first time for everything. Um, uh, Lost Shire Hobbit, your username says your favourite area. I'm a real life hobbit. So, um, <laughs> like the simple things in life. Staying at home, family, drinking, maybe smoking. Um, hopefully nothing uh, too mind-bending. Uh, hello, are you passing through? Would you perhaps be heading down to Mickle Delving? You see, I have a satchel that must be delivered to Postmaster Proudfoot in Mickle Delving. The reputation of the quick post service isn't what it once was. Uh, what I, uh, I really want gentle hobbits throughout the Shire to once again trust in the speedy delivery of their mail. So it's just like real life, basically. The mail services are generally getting crapper as time goes on. Um, would you mind taking it from the table over there and delivering it to Postmaster Proudfoot? He can be found in the square outside the town hall. Just look for the stone wall. Please deliver it to him as quickly as you can, for he won't be happy with me if I get it to him late. Oh, and let no busybodies bother you as you deliver the mail. Come rain, come shine, come nosy hobbits, a postman must deliver the mail on time. Uh, so we can pick that up. Uh, let's just, before we actually pick up the, uh, the letter though, um, because once we do that we're on the clock. Hello uh, there. We'll just speak Might to I this speak guy. with you a moment? Have you already been to the Mickle Delving Craft Fair? You should definitely go if you haven't already. There's a workbench, a forge, and even an oven waiting to be used. If you think you have crafting in your heart, you should visit my friend Emerald Borings at the Craft Fair. She's always happy to help someone get started making useful and pretty things. Pass through, uh, pass east through Little Delving, and then follow the path south into Mickle Delving. Take the southwest path from the statue of Marcho and Blanco in the town centre, and pass to the stables on your right. Uh, take the next left turn to reach the craft fair. Emerald would be happy to help you out. Well, if that's too confusing to follow, it's basically in the southwest of town, so you can't really miss it. Uh, the last thing before we do anything, we're going to barter with this guy. Is there something I can do for you? Um, because shouldn't I have? some uh, some tokens of salutation um, I can use my fielding coins as well um, so we can bring our reward to any of these people so if you're uh, in the man starting area which you will be if you are a man or a Bjorning uh, after the inter area speak to John Brackenbrook and Archit uh, if you're a dwarf you'll be in Thorin's Hall so you can speak to Dwalin in the throne room uh, you speak to uh, the mayor in Mickle Delving if you're a hobbit, which is what we'll be doing. Uh, in Bree, you have to go to Barlow and Butterbur, and in Kellandim, you have to go to Cardivore uh, if you're an elf starting over there. So we'll accept both of these coins. Uh, can I only do one at a time? That's a bit of a bugger. Um, yeah, okay. So I've got to uh, turn it in at the mayor, so that's fine. 
Um, but I'm sure we used to Just get a moment. some tokens of salutations. Oh well. Uh, no, I'm not, not talking to you now. So we're going to interact with this table. We will pick up a satchel. We'll be carrying a satchel in our hands. There we go. In that little mail bag down there. Uh, now I'm going to go a bit cross country at some point. Um, but you'll see we've now got a little induction bar. As with most things, if we um, uh, get hit, the blue bar can get decreased quicker than normal. But it is slowly ticking down, so you can kind of see it draining. Uh, but we need to deliver them out before time runs out. Um, and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we can't use uh, the, the horses still while we're carrying this. And we have to do it on foot. Uh, do we get a little bit of speed buff? Yeah, we do. So we get a carrying mouse speed buff. Got to avoid those noisy hobbitses. Uh, set your run speed to 120%. So we can run a little bit faster. Not crazy speed like we do in the Isengard instance. Where we can get like 200% run speed and it looks like we're, we're running like a cartoon character. Um, so we can follow the road most of the way into town. Uh, but somewhere near here, I think we're going to have a nosy hobbit. Or maybe not. Uh, I swear there used to be one at the entrance. So we normally had to swing a bit wide, but no. So over here, this is the, the town hall. So if we go to the postmaster, that hands that in, delivered satchel. Uh, and we can talk to the mayor. Uh, Will, Will Whitford. Uh, hand in How the fielding coin. Uh, what do you have here? A coin of some sort? Doesn't look like much. And what's this? Some sort of doors on the back? What a queer coin you brought me. I suppose it's worth something, although surely not much. Perhaps Keeper Foxtail would like to put it on display at the, in the Mavum House. Yes, that should be fine. Here, choose something that you feel is appropriate for a coin such as this. So, we can either have a uh, Dwarf Stone of the Dwarra Deeps, which goes in our pocket item. So, if you don't have a pocket item, that's good to get, because there's not many uh, pocket options early in the game. Uh, a Horn of the Dwarra Delph, which I'm pretty sure I've already got one of anyway, somewhere in my bags. Uh, over here, there we go, which just gives us a plus one hope bonus. Uh, a Pesky Dormouse, which is a housing item, goes in a wall slot. A uh, colourful songbird, which is another wall item, uh, goes uh, on a furniture slot, presumably a small furniture, um, or just four random potions that give us uh, various bits of mitigation. Um, so none of these are particularly interesting with me. Let's just go with a songbird. Good day. Um, so the prologue quest. What's this? Oh dear, a letter from a sack full baggins is not something you want to see. He's holding me personally accountable for his troubles in Breland. I wasn't even there. I've never been outside the Shire, and now I'm supposed to pay just compensation to his family? But he took no harm, and he was in Archie of his own accord. And you don't happen to know why I wanted to be mayor, do you? Because I seem to have forgotten. Good day. So he's Might not I have enjoying a word with you. Uh, there we go. Level 7. So we unlock the trait system now. And get a load more pop-ups. Uh, so next part of the prologue, Flower Dumpling is stand. I've thought about Mundo's demand that I pay compensation for his ill treatment in Breland, Silvery, and I'm not going to do it. We simply can't afford to pay money to satisfy a single hobbit for an experience that was, own, was his own fault to begin with. The Sackfield Bagginses have never liked me either. I think it was one of them that started calling me Flower Dumpling after the roof of the town hall gave way and buried me in chalk, you know. I don't mind when the shearers call me that, but from a Sackfield Baggins, it's just too much. The time has come to take a stand. I will not be bullied by a Sackfield Baggins any longer. They can't push me around, and I don't mind telling them that. Well, actually, I'm a little busy. So he's chickening out of it. Uh, run along to Bag End, north of Hobbiton, and let Labelia, tell Labelia that for me, will you? So she's outside uh, Bag End right now. Dear me! Please so, don't leave yet! Uh... Let us take off the Winter Festival quest. Uh, obviously, as with all regions, we are going to have a quest to do quests in the region. So, um, quest in the Shire is the life of Bounder trait. Uh, we've also got the Restoring the Quick Post. So, every town has a postmaster that will ask you to deliver mail to somewhere else. Um, so, if we do it in an efficient manner, hopefully every time we go to a different town, we can take the post with us. 
um, and hopefully do a, a more sensible route. So each of these these uh, quests in here, um, it tells you the two towns you have to go between. So like Mickle Delving to Waymeet, Waymeet to Needle Hole, Needle Hole to Mickle Delving, and so on, so forth. Um, so it's easy enough to figure out where you need to pick up them, uh, the the mail from if you don't know where you need to go. Uh, refurbishing the town hall. Mayor Whitfoot set aside some money to refurbish town hall and Mickle Delving, but it seems the carpenters haven't received it, and they won't work unless they are paid. One of the mayor's other assistants, Griffo Boffin, was supposed to make sure the carpenters received the money. He hasn't shown up for work though, and I'm worried that something has happened to him. He lives up in Needlehull, far to the north and beyond the Rushok Bog. Please visit Griffo, make sure he's alright, and then return here with the missing money. Griffo lives near the centre of Needlehull. The best way to get there is to head east to Waymeet and then follow the road north and west through the Rushok Bog until you reach Needlehull. I would do it myself, but I'm responsible for making sure the mayor's image remains untarnished. And, well, with Mayor Whitfoot, that's a job that takes more hours than there are in a day. So basically, this politician needs his PR guy. Um, we'll be able to get a, a uh, cape out of that, but it's probably not going to be any good for us. Uh, so... Let's remove the quick post deed. Um, your festival's here. I know. Go away. Um, so this is the Might postmaster. Might I speak with you a moment? He's going to send us on a bundle for Waymi. So Waymi is the little kind of village outpost kind of thing uh, on the crossroads to east of Mickle Delving. It's not too far. It's an easy one to deliver them out to. Hello there. Um, Might I speak with you a moment? And we've got Hiders and Seekers. Hello there, you wouldn't mind helping me out with a game of Hiders and Seekers, would you? You see, my friends Daisy and Polo have convinced me to play, even though they always hide in the same places. It isn't nearly as much fun as when your friends are so unimaginative, as I'm sure you realise. It would be fantastic if you could round them up for me. I'll give you a coin or two if you help me out, but I don't know how many more times I can pretend to be surprised that Daisy is hiding in the bushes next to Peony Grub's home or that Polo is crouched behind the carved statue of Marcho and Blanco. You'll find the statue carved on a large tree stump just south of here, and I'm sure that Polo Brockhouse is hiding right by it. Southeast of the statue, there's a small hill with several hobbit houses behind a wooden fence. Daisy thinks the bushes to the right of Peony Grub's house are a clever place to hide. Find my friends for me, and next time I'll try and tell them I don't feel like playing hiders and seekers. So he's uh, a bit bored of that. Um, then what have we got? We've got another one over here. So this is the Bounder guy, Second Sheriff Bodo Bunce. Is there something I can do for you? So you were sent my way, were you? Well, I've heard good things about you, and I'd be glad to have you helping us out. Welcome, well met, well hired. Help out as many shy folk as you can, and you'll rise through the ranks. What our cares may seem of small importance to others, the delivery of the mail, the tasting of fine foods, the lighting of fireworks, but you and I know they are worth protecting. These peaceful ways are threatened, and danger can be found even throughout the Shire. Aid our people with their daily concerns, but if you travel to more distant villages, such as, such as Needlehole, Overhill, or Brocken Borings, bring a weapon with you, Bounder. Life is dangerous on the borders of the Shire, and the further you get from Mickle Delving and Hobbiton, the more likely you are to see combat. Uh, well, we like a bit of combat. Uh, right, so we're going south then. So this is the statue of... Um, uh, what was it? Marco and uh, Blanco or something? Marco and Bum Blanco? So if we come over here. Uh, there we go. Polo Brockhouse. Hello there. Haha, -ha, Rolo sent you to find me, did he? It always takes him so long to find us. Just between you and me, I don't think he's very good at hiders and seekers. I'll stay here and think about where I can hide for our next game. Probably the same spot. Um, but yeah, we can interact with this. Uh, so the Bounders Bounty was an event they did a while back. Um, so they got the uh, the rewards for the various servers and uh, top players and all the people that participated uh, permanently etched in here. Um, but also as well, um, you got the Bounders Bounties for individual servers. So you can see other servers other than your own. I think the centre one shows you... Uh, your own server. Um, so south west of town, south east of town, up a hill, there's a bunch of hobbit houses. And in the bushes, 
to the side of one of the Hobbit houses is our other hider, Daisy Brockhouse. How do you do? Rolo sent you to look for me, but he always gives up so easily. I'm not sure that you can do that in a game of hiders and seekers. I'm pretty sure it's against the rules. If you don't find the hiders yourself, you aren't much of a seeker, are you? Anyway, I'll wait here until Rolo finds everyone else. This is a great hiding spot, isn't it? Um, and we'll see there's a couple of quests here we can pick up. Could I take a moment of your time? Um, so, I've received a most distressing letter. My good friend Dora, she's a chicken farmer near Waymeat, has written to say that a pack of wolves has invaded the Shire and driven her from her farm. She's staying in Waymeat for the time being, but the sooner she can get her farm back, the better. Can you help? Just take the northeast road to the centre of Waymeat. You just tell Dora Brownlock that I've sent you to help her with her wolf problem. Wolves in the Shire? What's going on in the world these days? So that's really technically a Waymeat quest. I want a word with you. So remove that from the tracker for now. Uh, you're just the sort I was hoping would come along. A bounder. Well, I've only just literally been uh, hired though. Uh, my brother up in Brock and Borings is a bounder, so ordinarily I would ask him for help with this. But Brock and Borings is such a long way from here, and I really want to get this problem taken care of as soon as possible. There's a terrible infestation of shrews to the east of here, beyond the delving fields, and they're burrowing deep into the soil and ruining the greenery. If you can find some of their burrows and close them up, that should keep the filthy little beast from straying near the town. It's your duty to help me with this bounder. Uh, pick that up. So we need to go to the crafting area, which is in the southwest of town. I oh, see there's a chap there with uh, the quest ring as well. Uh, oh, it's the VRP rewards person, so we can ignore them. So to the southwest of town, there's the stable master over there. Um, so as usual, we can always go over, speak to the stable masters. Actually, this one's unlocked by default because he's got the brown icon. We've got the uh, winter festival Hello still there. going at the minute, so we can speak to this guy just to unlock him. But if ever you see uh, a blue icon above a stable master's head, always be sure to speak to them so you can unlock all the stable routes that go to or from that particular stable master. Uh, so just south of the stable master, we have the crafting area. Um, although the person I need to speak to is this one here. Good day. Uh, Alf sent you to me. Good, good. We need more good folk with an interest in making useful and pretty things. Speak with the mistress of apprentices and she can help you choose a vocation in which to specialise. A vocation is a bundle of free crafting professions with overlapping skills. Choose your vocation with care because you will expend a great deal of time and energy improvising your, improving your skills uh, with the professions under its purview. Once the mistress of apprentices has welcomed you to your chosen vocation, be sure to speak with a supplier who will sell you the tools of your trade. Every profession has its own tools, so be not over shy with your coin purse. The novices will be happy to sell you any recipes you might wish to have, but I can tell you now that you will already know how to make a thing or two. Equip the crafting tools you plan on using and find an appropriate facility. Mickle Delving has a forge, workbench and oven available for your use and begin practicing your skills. You will, you will advance in your chosen professions as you practice and seek out the teachings of others in the field. I hope you will become a skilled craftsman, Silri, and that it will bring profit to you and the Shire. I will give you a few coins to get you started. Use them wisely and consider them an investment in your future as a skilled craftsman. So, take that. And we can come into town. And then one of these, Mistress of Apprentices. So we can learn one of these vocations. So as they've mentioned, each vocation gives you one of three um, individual professions that do various things. Uh, so metalsmith is for making uh, heavy armors and a couple of other bits and pieces. Uh, prospector is a gathering skill for gathering ore. Tailor crafts light and medium armors. Uh, forester is the gathering skill for uh, gathering wood. Uh, weaponsmith, as the name suggests, you make weapons, so it's going to be like all your swords and axes, that kind of stuff. Uh, woodworker makes wooden based weapons, so that's going to be your things like your spears, your bows, um, javelins, that kind of stuff. Uh, staffs for, for law masters. Uh, jeweler makes jewellery. Um, cook cooks things, uh, obviously all your bits of, that you can cook, that they either improve your stats or give you temporary buffs. Um, so they're quite useful but like when you're raiding or doing instances. Uh, farming is used to supply all the ingredients for, for cooking with, um, can be a bit tedious. 
um, but you get loads of stuff and it's probably the easiest one to level because you can just buy some seeds off of, off of the supplier and it just takes time um, so it's easy to level but it's a pain in the ass to level at the same time um, and then lastly we've got the scholar so scholars uh, collect kind of historical artifacts use them to kind of uh, derive various bits of knowledge they can use uh, scrolls to um, uh, like buff your crafting or your defenses or um, uh, you can craft uh, potions as well um, which are obviously quite useful for healing uh, that's my steam in case anyone's wondering if that's yours um, but I think on Silry we'll probably just go with an explorer so if in doubt explorer is generally quite nice um, because you have both prospector and forester so you can gather ore you can gather wood um, so you can gather all, all those things and then just distribute them to other alts uh, to use on their crafting um, and then you also have tailor for your own personal use as well um, so tailor's not useful to me as a brawler because I'm a heavy armor class but I've got so many other alts that already have uh, crafting max so it doesn't really bother me so a lot of my spare new characters I just make Is them explore something I can do for you so we'll do that we will then get our uh, crafting panel with our free uh, crafting professions um, we can get our introduction quests Could I take a moment of your uh, time? so we've got to speak to the supplier might I have a word with speak you speak with the novice tailor and speak Please, to the supplier stay a moment. so most of them will send you to the appropriate NPC if it's just a gathering skill you'll talk to the supplier instead J just a moment uh, so we'll look here, another would-be forester. I'm pleased to meet you and I'm looking forward to helping you get started. If I get too fast or you need help at any point, you can ask me questions about forestry and I will do my best to provide you with clear direction. The first and most important step is having the proper ingredients. I set aside a few for a new foresters like yourself. Take this crate and let us begin. Um, so, where is my crate? So, we've got the Apprentice Forester Starter Pack. Open that up. And it tells me you now have all the ingredients to make a brushed light leather and thin roan board. Uh, and I'm gonna have a similar one with the prospector. Hello. Well look here, another would-be prospector. I'm pleased to meet you and looking forward to helping you get started. The first and most important step is having the proper ingredients. I set aside a few for new prospectors like yourself. Take this crate and let us begin. So this time it'll give us some ore. Um, so all this is just going into our inventory for now. Uh, and then the third person we need to speak to is the tailor over here. Let's put the names back on. Good day. So, well, look here, another would be tailor. I'm pleased to meet you and looking forward to helping you get started. If I go too fast or you need help at any point, you can ask me questions about tailoring, and I will do my best to provide you with clear direction. The first and most important step is having the proper ingredients. Where, where have we heard that before? I've set aside a few for new tailors like yourself. Take this crate and let us begin. So again, it gives us some, some basic stats, uh, basic items. So, for the prospecting, we need to uh, make a copper ingot. So when we mine ores, we end up with uh, ore. We can go to a forge in any crafting area. And depending on what tier of ore it is, so the first tier is going to be a copper ingot. Uh, we need to make sure we have our prospector's tools equipped otherwise that's in red there uh, and then we can make our copper ingot so it takes two pieces of ore to make one ingot there we go we've made that uh, and in similar fashion uh, with the workbench as a forester we are able to uh, refine hides and uh, wood into boards so hides will drop from any kind of animal um, pigs bears wolves boars uh, you name it, all those kinds of animals that you might skin, uh, you will get hides from. So again, it is a two to one ratio, so two light hides will be one leather. Uh, but for doing this, we need our forester's axe equipped. So we'll do that, that will update our quest objective. And then same again with the wood, so two pieces of rowan wood makes one rowan board. But we'll see some uh, wood nodes out in the wild when we're looking to uh, gather stuff so those two we can hand back in just a moment so let me see what you are able to do she inspects the brush light leather and thin roan board it appears that there are no impurities in these 
I think that you have done very well, Sylvie. I approve and declare you a novice forester. Hello. Now let me see what you are able to do. She inspects the copper ingot. It appears there are no impurities in this ingot. It, I think you have done very, very well, Sylvie. I approve and declare you a novice prospector. Copy and paste job there, isn't it? Um, and then the last one is talk to... Um, I don't know, I need to craft a cloak now. So for the tailor one, tailors use workbenches as well. Um, we need to make a cloak. Uh, and we need tailor's tools equipped. And it tells us we've got to make a rough cloth cloak. So we've been given the ingredients for this. So uh, a forester makes out our levers. Um, so when we did uh, the brush light lever earlier, that then gets used by a tailor uh, for anything that needs brush light levers. Uh, the bolts of cloth will come from the suppliers. So if you need to get any after you've done the intro quest, talk to the supplier. They sell all kinds of weird and wonderful stuff, uh, which you can then use. So we're going to make this. And we're probably going to have another cookie cutter uh, job when we hand in this crafting stuff. A lovely day, isn't it? So, yeah, same again. Not going to read that. Hand it in. Job done. So we've done those uh, little quests. And then we can go back over here. Please, stay a moment. Uh, it appears you have learned much about being an explorer. I am pleased. Now allow me to give you a little something for your efforts. Give me a moment and speak with me again. Hello. I've been told that you performed admirably and for that I wanted to see that you were well rewarded. Here, take this. It will allow you to craft any apprentice level recipe that you wish. Uh, your reward for this quest is an item that's from the store, blah, 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 blah. So we get some apprentice ingredient packs. So what that means is when we are crafting stuff, uh, normally we need certain uh, 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 resources that we need uh, to craft a recipe. But sometimes if we've got um, any special packs uh, and it's converted it to universal ingredient packs because they're now for any tier, we can use that instead. Um, which will use this instead of the ingredients. Um, so sometimes it can be useful if there's certain recipes you're going to make but you don't have the stuff to hand. You can rely on some of them if you've got some uh, in uh, in your wallet. Um, they can be bought on the store but sometimes you get some for free. So like in the Hobbit daily presents uh, where you can get your login rewards for logging in uh, once a day or once a week. So if I open some of these, so I've got a Virtue XP and a Combat uh, Run Boost. There we go, perfect. Uh, 50 XP and I've got ingredient packs and a gold winter uh, coat so if I open that uh, it contains a universal ingredient pack plus a gold winter gift so I open that actually I've got a five packs so there you go that's gone up by five now um, but sometimes they're handy to, to do if you don't have the, the resources to hand but you can't use this in place of the really rare recipes where you need certain specific items um, so you can't kind of cheat the system um, but it is handy sometimes um, but anyway, she's given us some freebies, so we can't complain. So, where are we going next? Um, jump. Getting stuck on the fence. Uh, so, if we right click this and then go track nearby quests, we have to find some nearby ones. So, I think we're going back to the mayor in that area first. Uh, Waka Sik, ahoy ahoy Bafalian, ahoy yourself, how are you doing today? Um, there's Rodo Nubak. How do you do? Thanks for your help Sylvie, hiders and seekers is not much fun when your friends always hide in the same places. I don't think it's a game they're very good at. Wait a minute, you say that Daisy mentioned hiding until I found everyone else? That's strange, I thought Polo was the only other hobbit I was supposed to be looking for. They mentioned maybe getting Odo to play but I don't think they'd actually do it. Here are the coins I promised you, but it sounds like your worker seeker might not be done yet, Silvery. Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? This is serious, Silvery. I thought I was only playing hiders and seekers with Polo and Daisy, but it sounds like they talked to Odo Pipes and convinced him to play as well. You'd think they might have mentioned that to me. At any rate, Odo has a reputation for being the best hider in all of the Shire, at least as good as old Bilbo was in his day. Or so it's said among folk in the Bird and Baby. I don't know if it's true, but I do know that unlike Daisy and Polo, Odo Pipes is sure to have a capital hiding place, the very best. 
I'll have more coins for you if you can find him, Silri. He'll be hiding somewhere in Mickle Delving, so don't wander too far. You might want to talk to Polo and Daisy again. They might be able to tell you where he could be hiding. And if we get some shoes or a cloak from this one. Um, <laughs> Hello, Riel. Keeper a loss. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a deliberate knob or if it's meant to be noob. And you missed it, O. Uh, Locker sick. Great. Just made homemade pizza. Dough included. So yum. Nice. Uh, I do like making homemade pizza, but I don't normally make my own dough. Um, I usually cheat and get some, some pre-rolled dough and then uh, add my own toppings and sauces and stuff. Could I take a moment of your time? Um, bundle for whey meat. Don't want to do that just yet. Uh, right, so let's go find this, uh, this hide then. Um... Lost Shire Hobbit. I may have just created a brawler to try out later. Third class you've got me trying out. Um, with the amount of videos you've watched out of the series, I'm amazed you haven't tried them all. Um, since the only thing we're missing now is a, is a Norrmaster. Uh, right, so where am I? Um, I want to go just north because I know he's on top of the uh, tavern. So he's just over here. So pretty much just west from where the mayor is. Uh, and once you got near him... Oh, so you can see his How do you name. do? Uh, you found me. Very well done. Very well done indeed. Next time I'll choose a better hiding place, I suppose. I thought this one was perfect. You should return to Rolo and tell him that he knows how to choose good seekers. So yeah, no no sarcasm from this guy. Um, Locker 6 says, I will start a champ play for it at some point in the future. So yeah, I haven't played my champion for a while now. Um... But it is quite good these days for just mowing through stuff. And it's got a lot more survivability than it used to back when I was Hello playing there. on a regular basis. Um, you found Odo Pipes. Excellent. He was on top of the Bird and Baby Inn the whole time. You must have some Turkish blood in him. You never get me up there, I can tell you that. Here are the coins I promised you, Siri, and take my thanks as well. If they ever get me to play Hiders and Seekers again, I'll be sure to let you know. That way you can give me a stern talking to and ask me what I was thinking. Uh, so the cloak is no not much good to us and neither is the boots so we'll just take any of them uh, where are we going now I think we probably want to deliver the post to be honest could I take a moment of your time so this is the bundle for way meat so it's just a short way to the east um, uh, Lost Shire Hobbit, uh, Ryle, there's a familiar name. Oh, Riel. Yes. He's going by another name in the chat. You can you can show him your love and appreciation if he's still around. Uh, through his uh, dulcet Irish tones. Uh, Lockersick, hard to believe my Lotro account is so old it still remembers the subscription model. Yeah, so mine's old, that old as well. Um, not quite since, since launch. I started playing a year or or two down the line. Um, bundle for way meets. Uh, if the reputation of the quick post service is to be restored, you must simply help with my deliveries. There on the table, you will find a satchel that must be delivered to Postman Twofoot in Waymeet as quickly as possible. Would you mind taking it to him? Postman Twofoot can be found northwest of the crossroads in Waymeet. Don't dilly dally. The quick post service has fallen on hard times in the past few months, and we must double efforts to halve our problems. The mail must be delivered not only on time but with plenty of time. Let no nosy hobbits interfere with your duty and don't let the satchel get wet. The ink will run and there will be no good to nobody. So, pick up the uh, satchel from the table. We want to go south and run out the east side of town. But there is going to be a nosy hobbit, which if you can look on my mini-map, hopefully you guys can see it. There's an icon that looks like an eye. And we want to make sure we stay away from that eye on the mini-map. If we turn around, we can see uh, there's a nosy hobbit. If you've got floaty names on it, it makes them a little bit easier to spot. Um, but this one is, is simply just patrolling up and down this road. So as long as we go give them a wide berth around the road. We go can jump down now. I can't remember what the range is, but it's maybe like 10, 20 meters or so. Um, so as long as we avoid them, it's fine. Uh, and yeah, as it said, don't get in water. It doesn't, doesn't mean you can't walk through puddles or very shallow water, that's fine. But anything that will make you swim will make you drop the post. So we definitely don't want to do that. 
and we don't want to uh, run into enemies as well because if they hit us that will reduce our, our uh, blue bar and reduce our available time we can deliver the mail in. So pretty much kind of sticking to the road. Okay, so there's another nosy hobbit at the way me end of the road. So stay close to the road, but don't stay on the road because it makes it a bit harder. Actually, he's down there. There we go. Well, don't walk towards him. Um, so he said, oh, there's another one to the north of Waymi, so watch out for him. Uh, there we go. So to the northwest of town, it's postman two foot. So yeah, just north northwest of the crossroads, more north than west. Um, so Please he's going to send us to Needle Hole. Well, we've already got one quest too, which is right up in the far northwest. Um, I think that's the sound of my cat at the door, if you can hear any scratching. Um, like I said, oh yeah, the pie retrieval and postal services. See the Shire, yes. Um, what is that cat doing? Behave yourself. Um, so we're not going to pick up that post just yet. Let's have a speak to some of the NPCs around here. I'm sorry, but my thoughts were elsewhere. So this is the quest we picked up in, in Mickle Delving. So Peony sent you to help me, Silvery. She's a sweet lady and a good friend. I'm glad to have your help. Yes, the wolves came slavering near uh, to Waymeet recently and seemed to head straight for my farm. It was all I could do to escape to meet uh, to Waymeet without them noticing me. Um... I might have to do something about this cat in a second. <laughs> Could I take a moment of your time? Uh, when the wolves chased me off my farm, I didn't have enough time to collect my babies. My poor darlings. What was that? My chickens, of course. If those wolves have gotten a hold of them, I just don't know what I'll do. You can save them for me, Sylvie. I know you can. Follow the road north up the hill and out of Waymeet. Then take the first stone path to your right. You'll see a sign for my farm at the correct, at the correct crossing. Quick, you must save my little darlings. Um, does anybody else have a pickup? I don't think so. Right, I'm just going to see what this cat is doing. One second. stop scratching although she's probably in typical cat fashion she now wants to go back out you changed your mind now go on then typical cats and I bet you she'll start scratching at the door now uh, right so no other quest to pick up so let's go do that Dora Brown Locks chickens. So we're riding pretty much north up out, out of Waymeet. Actually, no, it's south. I'm thinking of the wrong farm. Um, uh, I think you forgot the Shrews quest in Nickel Delving. Um, if you mean this one, close up their burrows. Well, I do have that one already. Um, uh, da, 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 or the chicken run. Uh, close the burrows. So I'm a bit further around. There we go. So close these. Are they going to get angry? Yes, they are. They're threatening to attack. Punch the shrew. There we go, I've got my first class skill deed. So use your setup attacks. Low strike, sinister cross, and dexterous hook. So those are the three skills that I've already got. Uh, my one, two, and three. Um, so any of those will level it up. I need to use them a hundred times. So if they still haven't set a daily cap on it, I'll be able to get a hundred today, basically. Probably very quickly, because I'm pressing this a hundred times. Um, it's not going to take long. I'm already on 14. Um, punch, punch, punch. Oh god, I've got another one now. 
So we've got overhand smash. Use overhand smash a hundred times. So that one will be a little bit slower just because we have a cooldown on that and we only have one skill that advances it. Um, so basically just spam all my buttons like I normally would really. Um, last burrow we need. Uh, Keeper, what was that uh, mentions? It was you mentioned somewhere. Yeah, you were mentioned. Um, Lost Shy Hobbit is uh, a veteran fan of the of the Let's Play. Um, they've watched it uh, three or four times, and they've just started watching it again. So uh, they're they're quite fond of all the uh, cast of characters that shows up, including yourself. Um, like I said, I love when streamers have pets like doggos or catos. Um, well, my cats have, have buggered off again. Um, I can usually tell which one of them it is trying to get into the room. Because one of them is quite um, uh, aggressive at trying to get in and will like kind of almost be ripping up the carpet to try and get in or sticking their, their paws underneath the door. And the other one just kind of like lightly paws and scratches at the door. Uh, and in this case, it was the latter one. So I let her in, the other one's sleeping outside the door. Uh, she had a quick look around, decided it wasn't very interesting and decided to bugger off again um, and leave me alone. So typical cat, they make you do something and then decide that they don't actually want to do what they thought they did. Um, where am I going? Um, okay, so that one wants to go get handed in back in town, so we'll leave that for now. Um, still got to talk to Lobelia, we've got to collect Dora's chickens. Okay, so Dora's chickens was up north. It just wasn't on my quest tracker. I'm not going crazy. Um, yeah, this setup strike is, is being used quite quickly. We're already on 32 out of 100. We can remove those. Just because we don't need to keep a constant eye on those. They'll get done when they get done. Um, uh, Keeper says, oh nice, fair plays to you, Lost Eye Hobbit. Yeah, so... <laughs> Yeah, aka Keeper Elos does occasionally uh, bug me on streams. We're usually gaming quite a bit anyway, yeah, offline as well. Uh, right, Aggravated Wolf. Let's punch in. I've got a new skill actually pop up. Oh Christ, I managed to ag aggro everything here. New Dean, Wolf Slayer. Move some of these skills up the top. Right. Then once we've uh, killed him, let's see what our new skill is. So we have Get Serious. We generate metal and gain a damage buff. So increase damage for six seconds. Uh, it costs power and has a 30 skill, uh, 30 second cooldown. Um, so what does it do when it gener regenerates metal then? Right, so it slowly ticks up, it gives me ticks. Um, so it doesn't say in the tooltip, but I think that was one metal every second for six seconds as well. Uh, that sounds about right, I didn't see the, uh, the buff. Uh, right, Dora's chickens. Pick those up. There you go, that's one. Another one over here. So Wolves in the Shire is one of the various slayer leads we need to do and the best place to do the Wolves is just north of Dora's farm. Um, so inside the farm itself and then there's a wolf den just north over here. Um, it's fairly easy to do. You can kind of loop around in either a big circle or a figure eight or something like that. Um, and they're fairly easy to mop up if you want to get all your questing leads done. Uh, right, Dora's chicken's done take off the wolves. So then we have to do Farms of the Shire as another exploration lead. So Dora Brownlock's farm is just where we are now, just kind of north of Waymeet. Uh, then we've got Bam Furlong, which I believe is Farmer Maggot's place, which is over here, uh, just south of Stock. Um, and then the other ones, I can't remember off the top of my hill, uh, top of my head. I think Appledore's is this one west of the hill. 
South Fields might be the one south of Mickle Delving. Uh, Old Dodo's Leaf Farm and Puddyfoot's Fields. I can't remember for the life of me where those two are. Um, possible one could be one near Tuckborough. I think the other one's over one of these. Maybe. We'll probably easy, easily tick it off as we go along anyway. Um, but yeah, it's been so long since I've quested over here. Oh, stalk of rhubarb, that's something you can gather if you're doing cooking. We go copper deposit, this is what we can mine as a uh, prospector, but I don't have my prospecting tools equipped. We can mine on uh, horseback as well, but we won't get the animation. Um, uh, Keeper says, by Budgeford is another good place for the walls near the broken wall area. So, uh, Budgeford over here, so yeah, there's a wall can't really tell where it is on the map, but it's north, possibly like over there, uh, is where you're thinking. Uh, if memory serves, there is a warg over there as well that we have to kill for a quest. Um, Alright, so speak to Dora. Please leave me to my sorrow. Uh, I don't well, know that I, I can go home until I know those wargs are gone for good. What if they come for my babies again? You are so brave to rescue my little darlings. I'm sure you could do something about the wolves. The awful beast that attacked my farm came from the north. There must be a wolf den there somewhere among the hills north of my farm. Oh, please do hurry. I would like to go home soon. So, kill eight wolves. So, we'll keep that on the quest tracker and uh, track some more nearby quests, but I missed. Um, so, most of those are actually selling me back into town. So let's go back and uh, do the wolf den then. And I think we can hand in some stuff in Mickle Delving, then come back and uh, deliver the post to Needle Holes, the next place to go through. Um, that, that being said, I probably will be calling an end to this stream soonish. So uh, maybe when we eventually get to Needle Hole, that might be a good stopping point. <coughs> So up and over the farm then. And then just down in this valley, uh, we have to defeat wolves at the wolf den. So anyone will count, punch them all. Uh, I'll stick that on the second row just because it's not a combat skill, it's just kind of a buff kind of skill. Uh, punch all these. Like I don't have many quests, so it's decided that the quest to go to Bree Town is in my top five newest quests. And I would have to walk across the entirety of the Shire and uh, most of Bree Land as well to get there. Go free. Uh, let's chuck a mug in his face, just in case there's a deed. I'm pretty sure there is. Um, Last deed for that skill at some point. I don't know when it unlocks though. I make six, uh, seven over here. Let's throw a mug at one of the other ones. Why not make it the wolf leader? Bang. Actually, I pulled an extra one. Not that it matters too much. It just means I get a head start on my uh, boss lady. Seven. That's eight. And then we've got nine, and now ten is running as well. Uh, so we have to hand that back in at Dora Brown Lock in Whaley. Bank, there we go, mount up. Uh, there's more than one wolf leader apparently. So back to Way Meet for Dora Brown Lock. Um, the prologue quest is in Hobbiton at Bag End. We'll probably save that for another time. Uh, just because it's a little bit of effort getting over to the hill and then coming back um, for the quest that we're trying to do right now. 
Uh, and then I think Ruby Prinstone and Griffo Boffin are both in Mickle Delving. And we don't care about that one, so that can come off. Yeah, that's the only quest we've got at the minute. Um, uh, like I said, oh yeah, the Slayer Deeds. Back in the days of my first playthrough, I fought 60 wor uh, sixty wolves, was that? Uh, it was too much in the Lone Lands. If only I knew what came after that. Presumably you mean the Warg Slayer Deed. Because, um, yeah, they're a bit of a bugger. Because it wants you to kill um, wargs. Warg Slayer with the east side of town is, is a lot harder as well. Uh, mainly because most of them are in stealth, just being uh, cheeky buggers. Alright, Dora Brown Lock. Oh, woe is me! Uh, thank you for your efforts, Silvery. We won't need to fear these wolves now that you've killed their leader. What, you didn't see their leader at the wolf den? He won't be an ordinary pack leader, that's for sure. The real leader of the wolves must be in hiding. Until we do something about the chief wolf, no one will, in the area will be safe. I'm sure it's a bother, um, but I could use your help. There's been rumour of a scarred old, old wolf spotted away from the rest of the pack, in fact across the road from the wolf den north of my farm. I don't know what might have happened, but I think it's fair to say this old wolf must, must be their leader, exiled for some reason. Now I think I've done something terribly fool, foolish, Silvery. My neighbour, Jolly Smallborough, is a true gentle hobbit and I suspect he's something of an, of an admirer of mine. Unfortunately, I mentioned this wolf business to him and he swore to take care of it. If you don't mind, would you please find Jolly before the wolf does? I'll feel terrible if something happens to him. Um, so hopefully that's the last of your wolf quests. Uh, and then we're done here with the post. So. Back up north I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, he's along the road to the north, up into the box. Um, yeah, cer certain slayer deeds are worse than others. And you get that for every region. Um, most of the ones in the starter areas are pretty straightforward. They're easy to come by. Wolves and spiders and the like. Um, some are a little bit slower. Like marsh, uh, marsh flies in uh, Breeland can be a bit harder just because they only spawn in the marshes and you have to make sure you uh, go around there a few times until you can find enough that you need. Generally, like, wolves are pretty easy to do in any of the regions. Uh, same for like goblins and so forth. But there are certainly some deeds in, in later parts of the game where you need an obscene number of um, things you need to kill. Because a lot of them tend to be standardised to certain numbers for the normal Slayer and the Advanced Slayer deed. Um, and with some mobs being easier to come by than others, it can make certain deeds a lot easier than uh, other ones. I don't know why it's just camping in the middle of the road. Hello. Getting in everyone's way. Uh, Dora was worried about me, truly. Perhaps she does have feelings for me. Well, to tell you the truth, I was a little worried myself about what would happen once that wolf showed its muzzle around here. I felt sure my bucket of boar meat would lure the beast out of hiding too. Ah oh, well, maybe I didn't get enough smelly boar meat. I'll clean this up and we can go talk to Dora together. Oh well, I suppose I should clean up this bait. Gracious me, what do I do with it? It smells something awful. We're going to get ambushed, aren't we? Oh no! There he is. Uh... Nice wolf, help. This is literally what happened in D&D. Um, if you keep you still in the chat, this is literally what um, our little hobbit, uh, not a hobbit, um, a little gnome peanut uh, did when wolves came to the camp at night. He tried to offer them beef jerky and it didn't go well. Uh, though in game here, it's got a bit better than our D&D session because the wolves nearly wiped the entire party, um, which was good fun um, but unexpected that they did so bad um, so mount back up and back to Dora Brown Lock uh, uh, Loxic by the way I never heard of Brawler class is that new? Yes yeah, so this class came out with the Fate of Gundabad expansion um, which came out at some point this autumn uh, I want to say maybe September or thereabouts or was it later I can't remember um, but it's Lotro's newest expansion. Uh, as the name suggests, it's dealing with uh, Mount Gundabad up in the north. Um, so, if we go over to the east. Um, so Mount Gundabad is all up here. So, depending on where, where you've got through in the game or where you knew what we were doing. So, there was a lot of stuff going up into uh, uh, like Northern Mirkwood, Terrebor, the Iron Hills, Withered Heath. 
Um, and then we kind of ended up going back to like worlds of Lang Flood, and, which I haven't done. So all this is new to me and kind of working our way up the river, um, ending up at uh, Gundabad and going into Gundabad. Uh, reclaiming it from all the uh, nasty gobos that live up there now. Um, but I haven't done any of that stuff, so uh, hopefully you haven't got any follow-up questions. <laughs> But yeah, the, the Brawler class is, is brand new with that expansion. Um, currently, you have to buy the expansion to access the class. It can't be purchased separately. Um, but at some point, when they put the expansion available for um, lottery points in the store, they will put the class in there as a separate purchase as well. Um, but I don't know when that's planned to be. I would say it's probably going to be maybe going into Easter next year that it might go in the store, but I, I don't know what the, uh, the date is. I don't think they've announced anything yet. I'm sorry, but um, my thoughts were elsewhere. So the wolf in exile, you rescued Jolly Silry, and thank goodness, I knew there wouldn't be an old wolf that could do you in. Though I'm sure the same can't be said for poor, well-meaning Mr. Smallbarrow. I have not yet decided whether to take him up on his dinner invitation. Yes, he ran straight here to ask before you even returned. Uh, so we can get a uh, chest piece, which is medium armour, but it does have more armour. But I'll stick with my heavy. Uh, right, so that's your quest done. So I do have the bundle from the postman. But given that that is for Wayne Me, uh, I, have a word with you. Um, I will come back to that in a minute. So let's go back into Mickle Delving and hand in these two quests. Um, oh yeah, so so Keepy's uh, responded to you as well, Locker Um And yeah, Peanut pacified some of them. So yeah. <laughs> I did have to pull my punches a bit in that encounter, so one of the wolves did go away satisfied with his beef jerky, uh, leaving two for the group to fight. Um, although one of them eventually was uh, pacified and ran off, and the third one was just a dire wolf or something. It was just tearing through the group, uh, ripping everyone a new one, I think, um, until you got saved at the end of that encounter. But good times. It's been a foul day, it has. Uh, so, thank you for your help, Bounder Siri. This should discourage the shrews from burrowing near the town for a while at least. So I can either get a cloak, which is not quite as good, or a shield, which I can't use as a brawler. Uh, ding, we got a level up. No new skills this time. And I just realised I haven't actually spent any of my trait points. Uh, so we don't care about the VIP rewards guy. And the other quest is up here. Uh, oh, there you go. He's looked at the the FAQ. So, can I purchase the expansion with lottery points? The Fate of Good and Bad expansion will be available for lottery points in May 2022. So it's a bit later than I thought it would be. Um, there's a quest in the tavern as well. Um, so presumably, when uh, that happens, the uh, the class will be purchased for as a separate thing as well. So it's basically there's an exclusive period. Um, where the stuff has to be paid for, um, which all right, may be a bit of a pain in the backside if you don't have the money to spend stuff. Um, and lottery expansions can be can be a bit pricey with some of the premium packages. Um, but uh, it makes sense, you know. The, the devs have got to pay the, pay the bills and keep the lights on. Otherwise, no one can play lottery in any form. So um, hello there. I think it's Why not, not an unreasonable exclusive period. Um, so it's maybe a bit more than six months. Um, hello there. Haven't seen you here before. Sit down, take a mug of Black Rose Brown. Good stuff, ain't it? Best you ever had? No? Ah, oh, well. You'll see, I've been entering the all-farthing brewing moot every year like clockwork for nigh on 50 years now, and not one prize to my name. But this time, I think I got the smell of a best in show. See, I heard that my great old granddad, a took he was, who ran the bird and baby in his day, Won the moot prize most every year he entered. They say his brown was the best ever, but it seems the recipe died with him, because the bird just hasn't been able to compete since those days. I'm thinking of he might have written down his recipe somewhere. If it would be anywhere, it would be in the Great Smiles over in Tuckborough, to the east of Mickle Delving. I wonder, would you mind going over there and take a look? If you can find that old recipe, I'll give you the first taste of my new brew. So he needs to go find his secret recipe, which is buried in a library somewhere. Uh, so heading on, um, uh, are links allowed by any chance? Um, 
I haven't done anything to stop it, so see what you can get away with. Um, if it lets you paste it in, it should be fine. I, I don't have any problem with pasting links, as long as you're not a filthy gold spammer like one that turned up in the YouTube channel earlier. Um, well, I don't think he was gold spamming, I think he was spamming more unsavory services, but um, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm sure I, I can trust you to at least be civilised in, uh, in public. Um, Alright, Bingo Boffin. I haven't done any of the Bingo Boffin quests actually, because that's separate. Can you a do them at any level? day to you, friend? Because this is something that was added that I never got around to doing all the Bingo Boffin quests, so I probably will do them as a separate series, maybe. Because um, you have to do kind of questing all around Middle Earth, doing bits and pieces. Um, Griffo Boffin, where are you? Oh, you're up in the corner of the town. Type press down there, okay. So I think we'll go to Waymeet then and take the post. Oh, hang on, no, Postmaster Proudfoot's got one now. Might I have a word with you? He's got a bundle for Tuckborough. Hmm. Do we run to Tuckborough? That's the question, because that's the problem. You, do, you have so many different towns you have to go to. It's what order do you do them in? Let's do the Tugborough one, come on. Might I speak with you a moment? I've received word that you delivered that package to Postman Twofoot at Waymeet in a timely manner. He was very impressed and I must tell you that I am as well. The quick post service is becoming respectable again. Speedy deliveries, mail that you can count on. That is a happy day for this old postmaster. <coughs> if you'd still like to help us out, well there's always work to be done. There on the table you will find a satchel for Postman Took at the centre of Tugborough. You know how this works now, my friend. Avoid nosy hobbitses. Keep the satchel dry and make haste. The quick post service will set new standards for speedy delivery of the mail. So pick it up. And I don't know whether all quests for delivering the mail have the same uh, uh, maximum duration that you can take to deliver it. Or whether the ones that are further afield give you a little bit more time. But obviously the one I delivered in Waymeet, I've maybe... I don't know, probably uh, not use any more than 20% tops. Same with the one that we took from Little Delving to Mickle Delving. So we're going to go cross country because there's going to be no hobbits, nosy hobbits cross country. They're always going to be on roads or guarding entrances to towns and that kind of thing. So as long as we're off, off the road uh, and we pay attention that we don't run into some nasty mobs, we should be fine. Um, uh, KP, the, the good about FAQ, if it lets you post the link in chat, go for it. Um, I don't know if it will ban it outright, but I don't think there's a setting on my end preventing it, so if it does ban you, it's not me. Um, uh, Leo Kolev, hey Barfalian, nice to see you active on YouTube again, thank you. Very nice to see you here as well. Um, but yeah, I don't think you were around for the, uh, the stream we did the other day, so we finished off Arid Lewin. Uh, those videos will be slowly releasing on the channel. Not too slowly, um, maybe a couple of days, probably uh, send out a new one. So uh, maybe expect three, maybe four of those each week uh, till those are done. I think there's maybe about eight episodes worth. Uh, and then we're recording the, the Shire now, which will be the episodes that will follow that. So it's just nice to sit down, uh, record all these live so I can interact with anyone who's uh, sat around the board. Uh, watching the, the stream live, interact with you guys, answer any questions you've got. Um, and then it just makes it a bit more of an enjoyable recording session really. And it gives me ideas for things to talk about as well, rather than having to just talk blindly at the camera for uh, however long it is that I sit down for a recording session. Um, so we're going up and over here then. Um, where's the postman? I think the postman's north of town actually. Um, across the bridge. I've got a feeling there's going to be a nosy hobbit somewhere around here. Um, I assume he's going to be by the post box. Is this him on the right? Yeah. Bam! Job done. Where does your Stay one go? And have some tea. So yours goes to Hobbiton, which is kind of on the way up the hill. So we could maybe do that and then go off to talk to Lobelia. Um, but now that we're over here, of course, we've got more quests. Uh, Don't you turn your back on me? 
so Geribut misses a meal. Hello there. I'm sorry I'm not more friendly today, but I'm a bit concerned about my cousin Geribut. You see, a while ago I wrote in my calendar that Geribut and I were to share supper. Today was the day, but Geribut hasn't shown up. My cousin isn't one to miss a meal. Most hobbits probably aren't, to be fair. Um, so I'm more than a little troubled. Would you mind going over to his house and see what is taking him so long? I would go, but I've got a pot on the stove right now. His house is west of Tuckbro, just follow the road west out of the town proper and you'll see it. So it's probably the little hobbit hole I've passed on the way here. Um, what else is there? Gamma Tunley. Good day, might I have a word with you? Uh, oh good, there is something very important I would ask you to do for me. When my grandson Wilcom was younger, I made him his lunch every day, but ever since he's moved to Scary, I don't get the chance to do it. You see, he oversees the quarry there, and I'm very proud of him, but I do miss taking him his lunch. In fact, I miss it so much that I made him a very special lunch. Unfortunately, though, my old bones won't take me all the way there, but a young one like you could easily carry it to him. Would you mind taking the lunch to him? Bring it to him is scary, but please do hurry. I don't want it to spoil before he gets it. Okay, so that's probably going to be another carry quest. So I won't take that one just yet. So let's go inside the Great Smiles of Tukbra. So if you uh, didn't know, Tukbra is where the uh, the Took family lives. Uh, so Peregrine Took, our uh, mischievous hobbit from the Fellowship, is one such member of the family. So if we go inside here, Adlar Took's got a quest. Might I trouble you for some help? Uh, thank goodness I am in the sorriest of straits, but I must make you swear to tell no one else of my troubles. If others were to hear of it, there would surely be a panic in Tuckborough. My library is haunted. As difficult as it may be to believe, I think it is the ghost of the old Took. I think the troubles darkening the Shire of late have disturbed him, like those bears over to the east of here. They were never so aggressive in his day. Wait, perhaps that's it. The old Took was known for slaying a great bear in his time. If you could bring me the pelts of a few bears, maybe it will ease his spirit. It will show the Shire is still safe. So if we go into the library, uh, we need to have a look around for the beer recipe. There we go, we've collected the yellow recipe and that can now be taken back to the Bird and Baby Inn in, in uh, Nickel Delving. Uh, so we're going to head, hang on, what's this? Uh, a Pavinka Took. Could I take a moment of your time? I need your help. I made a terrible mistake and listened to Isambard and Imbert, my full cousins. You see, old Adelard is always lecturing us young Tooks on the history of the family, and well, it does get tiring. My cousins decided to play a trick on him and convince me to sneak away with the latest chapter Adelard wrote for the yearbook of Tuckborough. Now I'm worried about the trouble I'm going to get into. Isambard, though, went out of uh, went out to get the chapter from where he hid it, but he hasn't returned yet. I think he said he hid it in a tall tree east of the Great Smiles in Tuckborough. Could you go there and see what is taking him so long? So, grab that. Nothing else to pick up inside. And um, we can head back outside. Um... Uh, like I said, holy moly, yeah, the bingo chain is insanely long. Yeah, I know they've they've added loads to it, so I don't want to start that on this character because I probably can't go all the places I need, um, and it will take ages to do. So I, I will probably sit down at some point on uh, Bria, my main, um, and uh, probably knock all those out because uh, I've heard good things about that quest chain, but I've never done it before. So, uh, but from what I've heard, it's even longer than. Um, than uh, reforging Narsil. Um, uh, and you also say, I love Bow's playthroughs, been watching them for eternity now. Uh, so you're another another long time veteran uh, who's maybe watched them more than once. Um, it's, a, it's a long commitment. As I said, I've said to last Shire Hobbit before, um, if you're oh, watching it day. through it all once, it's probably the equivalent of like 10 plus seasons of a, of a TV show. Um, I mean, there's so much to it, and then all the other little side episodes, or the extra long episodes, or the um, milestone episodes where we do some silly stuff in Khan Doom or whatever. Um, there's a lot of stuff to watch there, so um, uh, hats off to you for, for sticking with it. Um, what? Uh, Pavinka sent a bounder out here. She's such a warrior. There's nothing to fear. Old Imbert and me will have that chapter of Adelard's in two shakes. See, we hid the chapter in a satchel in the tree, but the branch we climbed on broke off. 
I've been here scratching our heads on how to get it down. But you just gave me a grand idea. See, Imbert, I'll just knock the statue out of the tree with a stone. You're going to hit a beehive, aren't you? Well, I don't know, Eisenbard. What if you miss? Oh, don't worry, I won't miss. Here, yeah, watch. Bonk. Seems I hit a hive. Bees! Not the bees! Um, angry bee swarm. There are many bees. There we go. Completed setup strike. So that was the one that we had to do for using our three basic um, metal building skills. So it seems that I was correct that they haven't put in a daily limit yet. So you can do all 100 that you needed for that deal in one go. So it's very easy to complete. And that is part of our tier 1 uh, class deed. So the other one is overhand smash, which we've unlocked. Uh, and the third is smash through the ranks. Whatever that requires. Looks like you've got the hive. Fortunately, the bees are gone. Oh no, look. And now the bear wants the honey. Bears! I need to kill bears anyway for one of the other quests, so that works out nicely. If it counts to that quest, I think. One hot smash. Bear pelts, one of five. Zero five. Thank goodness. This time for sure. Don't worry. See, here's the satchel. Let me get Adelaar's chapter. Thank goodness. I had it under control all the time. Yes, I'm sure you did. Here, friend, take this back to Pavinka for us. Come on in, but now that we are done here, let's see if we can find old Peregrine. Uh, so they're referring to Pippin. Uh, I've not seen him for some days. I wonder where he's gotten off to. Yes, good question. I wonder what he could be doing. Um, right, collect bear pelts. Are there some more bears over this side of town? Or are we going to have to go wandering further afield? Anywhere southeast should be good. Uh, I think most of the bears are generally more to the south up in these hills. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, so you started uh, during the first lockdown in March 2020 and you've watched it four or five times since then. You must have been watching it constantly. I mean, 414 episodes that were originally before I took my, my uh, hiatus. So that's more than one episode a day in a year. And if you watched it four or five times, you must have been watching like three or four episodes a day. That's madness. You must have better things to do with your time. Um, uh, and my playthrough is your favourite playthrough. Well, thank you. Um, but as when I first started this, there was not many people that were doing Lotter on YouTube, um, which is one of the things I, why I started doing it because I liked Lotter. It's kind of like almost a full-time job for me. Uh, the amount I used to play back when I started. Um, and there weren't many of us that were out there. So the two people that come to mind uh, that were around when I started, one of them was Andang, who is still going strong. Uh, and if you've been watching anything lottery related goings on or reading the uh, the Beacon, you'll probably hear his name crop up quite a bit. He does some, uh, some good lottery content. Uh, and the other one was a guy called uh, Kazgavel, um, who I, I'm not sure if he still does uh, content or if he still does... Uh, stuff of late. I know he, at one point he was doing Bjordings. Um, I don't know if he's done any stuff more recently than that. Um, but those those are the two guys that were kind of around when I started. Um, obviously since then, loads more people have got into um, particularly doing loads of Twitch streaming as well for Lotro. Uh, there's a few more Lotro uh, YouTubers as well. But otherwise, and I see that I'm actually getting quite low here, I'm quite concerned. With those bleeds. Health potion. I should pay more attention to my health bar. I want to get to level 20 undefeated. Fuck me, these guys hurt. I'm in trouble here, I think. Oh no. Well, that's embarrassing. Um, wow, these bears actually hit really hard, and I've aggroed one without even regenning. Wonderful. 
Do I want to fight it? Probably not. I'm probably going to die again. I'll try and get behind him just in case he's going to try and do his uh, bleed attack. He's done one under me anyway. I'm out of combat though. As long as I stay out of combat, it should be fine. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's a couple of other YouTubers I think that might have been around back in the day that were doing stuff more about cosmetics and stuff like that. Um, but generally speaking, no one used to really sort of do MMOs in general. I mean, you might have had your, like your World of Warcraft streamers streaming raids and stuff, but you can. Uh, it's a lot harder to do a let's play for an MMO than uh, like a general game that has a start and a finish, basically. So uh, it was maybe ambitious of me to start it, um, and you'll see. <laughs> even with um, like 420 plus or so episodes that we've recorded so far, but not necessarily released. Um, we're oh, still like in me. Fellowship of the Ring I territory, never mind Two Towers or Return of the King or everything that's happened in the game post then. Uh, Honey Bears, hello there. I wonder if you can help me out for a few minutes. I've had problems with bears from the hills nearby, raiding my beehives for honey. I need someone who isn't afraid of bears to fend off and protect the hives. My hives are right over there. The bears have killed all the bees in the hives except the middle one. I have it closed right now to protect the bees, but they'll be in trouble soon if the hives aren't opened. If you help me, I'll open the hive. I'm sure the bears will return soon. Uh, so this is a... Oh, it did pop up about fellowship quests. Um... Right, spank these bears. I probably want to get behind him. Oh, he's done a fear on me already. Well, these ones don't hit hard, they're only level 7. The other ones were level 8. But, yeah, damn, they were hitting hard. Uh, oh no, there's more of them. There's always more. Um, so, uh, what's going on in chat? Dio Kolev, uh, typical Turks accidentally summoning bees and goblins wherever they go. Yep. Locking buckets down wells. Fall of a Turk. Runs in the family, clearly. Uh, Hazar, you've defeated the bears. Dear me, what do you want? Ha, ah, that was a sight to see. You did a good job with those bears, and you deserve a reward for your work. So I can either get a dagger or some eggs and onions. Well, since oh, I can't get me, a dagger, please don't I'll leave yet. Onions. Uh, sorry to say, but I got more bee problems. You saved the one hive, but the queens and the others were killed by the bears, and I need new ones. But it isn't that simple. First of all, the wild hives are off in the woods to the south. That's right where all them bears live in the first place. Second thing, and we'll deal with it first, those wild bees don't take too kindly to being moved, so you need to protect yourself from their stings. Now Galaboffin up in Overhill, she's got some kind of bomb that will protect you from stings, so you just go and get some of that sow from her. Overhill is almost due north of here, but the other side of Hobbiton, so it's a ways off. Hurry back, I need those queens. Uh, Sights of the Shire, we've just ticked something off. We've found the Great Willow, so that was where we were down uh, with the bees being summoned, just west of Tuckbrook. Um, so we can hide that for now. And the Tier 1 Deeds. So we're going to go back over to Tuckbrook. And uh, once we've handed those quests in, I think we'll wrap up the stream because I need to cook some dinner. Um, uh, Lost Shire Hobbit, 414 originally, and yes, pretty much daily. Had it on whilst I was working on other things. Uh, the autoplay made it easier to watch. I don't really watch TV programs anymore, and so searched on YouTube. That is the problem with autoplay. Like, you think that you're done, you've watched enough, you're going to go to bed or go do something else, and then something else autoplays, and you think, oh, God, then just one more. You know, it's just like uh, just one more turn itis from, uh, from Civ, where you just think, oh, I'll just go a little bit longer. Um, Adelaide I'm Took. Sorry. Oh good, My you found the pelts. Elsewhere. Now I just have to put them in the library and the old Took's ghost will be calmed. I'm sure of it. He'll go back to his rest and get my library back. Thank you. Ding, level 10. Which is another good thing because we can open our box now. Um, which box was it? Gundabad Delving Supplies. It was level 5. Where's my brawler box? There it is. Brawler Battle Gauntlets. So if I open that. Um, so there's one for 20. There's a 61 to 91. There's a 101. Oh, 
I've got these ones. So Bounce is Siri. So 29 DPS, so it's a lot more. It has increased damage to all kind, plus one damage. Uh, it's got 17 might, 12 vitality, and 80 crit ratings. That's very nice stats, actually, for my level. Uh, so I think we're definitely going to equip that. Uh, we've got a gift maven we can use to get reputation in uh, in the Shire. But to be honest, with questing, we should easily get lows. Ah, oh, the spam bot's back. Go away. Bad, bad, bad bot. Go away. Oh, no, didn't want to do that. Uh, but right, uh, we've got another I quest pickup. Trouble you for some help. Uh, oh dear, the ghost is still troubling my library. In fact, the moment I took a step in, it raised such a racket that it gave me a terrible fright. I'm so flattered that I don't think I'll be able to eat supper. Wait, food! Like most hobbits, the old took had an affection for his victuals, especially spiced boar ribs. I admit. I have a fondness for them myself. Perhaps if we prepare a plate of ribs for him, we can appease his ghost. Go speak with my niece, Edelina Proudfoot. Her hole is just east of the Great Smiles, and she is a marvellous cook. Don't tell her why we need the ribs. I don't want to start a panic. And hand in this one over here. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, good, you found it. Now to sneak this back into the library before Adelard notices it's gone missing. My thanks. You've saved me from a host of troubles. Uh, can get some shoulders. Uh, and I think we're going to stop there. So is there anything else I've missed in the chat? Um, so yeah, you were watching that and the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, at least you've got some new content to watch uh, rather than watching the same old episodes over and over again. Um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll call it a day there then. Um, as I said, the, the remaining episodes we recorded in the previous stream for Arid Lewin are going to be coming out in the uh, remaining days uh, and weeks. Uh, which will probably take us up to about mid-January and then the content we've released today will probably start releasing after that for the Shire. Um, so stay on the lookout. I will hopefully be able to, to pre-plan and give a bit more of an announcement when I'm going to do these streams uh, for the rest of the Shire. Um, odds are it's probably going to end up being uh, weekday evenings. So if I can give advance notice, I will stick up an event on the YouTube channel so you guys can have a bit more warning when these streams are going to start. Um, but otherwise that is it for now so until next time I will see you guys later